bustling city of Harare, a chilling crime unfolded that would leave the community in shock and disbelief. This happened on the 1st of April 2015. A man named Sidney Mudiru, a 28-year-old, committed an act of violence so severe that it will forever scar the lives of those involved. Sidney Mudiru's marriage had recently hit rock bottom and his wife had left him. Late in the afternoon of that day, Mudiru, who stayed at number 3 Hopley Zone, 5 Waterfalls, went to his ex-wife of 9 years' new lodgings at house number 308 in Oshio Kunze Phase 1. When couples separate, there is usually a big conflict on who is to keep the children, and he believed that he had the same rights to be the primary caregiver of his children. When he arrived at her house, he demanded his two minor children, aged 6 and 3, but she refused. She told him that at their age, they needed to be in the custody of their mother. Ignoring his wife's claims, he decided to use force to take his children home with him. The details of what transpired next are unclear, but the incident ended in a tragedy. In a fit of rage, he struggled and pushed her to the ground and grabbed his children. She rose up, fought with him, and then he produced an old copy knife, fatally stabbed her ten times all over her body, killing her instantly. When he returned to his senses, he realized what he had done and how grave his crime was. Fearing jail, he then made a decision to commit suicide. He drank red poison in an attempt to take his own life, but neighbors knowing what he had done made a report to the police and he was rushed to the hospital. It is further alleged that Mudiro, who was under police custody in hospital, tried to escape but was apprehended at the hospital. In court, he stood before magistrate Mr. Wakai Chikweke charged with murder. He was not asked to plead to the charge and Mr. Chikweke remanded him in custody until May 16, 2015. He advised him to apply for bail at the High Court due to the gravity of his offense and he told him that the lower court had no jurisdiction to entertain bail issues in such cases. I did not find any records of his trial, but hopefully justice will be served. This tragic event serves as a stark reminder of the devastating effect of domestic violence and the importance of seeking help and intervention when signs of violence become apparent. Parents are encouraged not to fight for custody, but to approach the courts for justice. The incident has left a lasting impact on the city of Harare, forever reminding its residents of the fragility of life and the importance of family safety. May her soul continue to rest in eternal peace.